Welcome to this Recovery Summit session with me, Jackie Oakley, and with Martin Glenn, former Chief Executive of the Football Association, and with Pierre Luigi Kalina, very recognisable figure from being uh, in charge of the world's referees, basically, which is a pretty, um, pretty impressive title to have, and uh, with a huge, vast amount of experience of the world of refereeing. So we have a huge amount to go into, and only really just less than half an hour in which to go into it. We, nobody, frankly, a gentleman expected to happen what has just happened over the last uh, three months or so. And so we're all just feeling our way back into the world of live football. Um, but there have been a great deal of issues for the administrators in particular to address and to attempt to overcome in those last three months or so. So, Martin, first of all, if I could turn to you. In this return, in the UK, but of course globally as well, post COVID-19. What are your main concerns for the immediate and long-term future of the sport? Well, I think it's the, it's really interesting. The, the obvious point that fans are critical to the experience of football. Um, and so I guess the, the, the first concern is how quickly can we get football played in front of real people again? Um, and how how responsibly can that be done over, over over time? So it really is important that 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 is that is done properly. It's done that in a way that people who want to go to football matches have confidence to go. Um, but really, to me as a fan, but also as a former administrator um, with a big interest in Wembley Stadium, you just know that the football experience on TV is way better if you're playing in front of a live crowd rather than what's happening now in Germany and last night in the UK and England, where it's to um, empty seats. Pierre Luigi, first of all, congratulations on having a beautiful backdrop behind you. It looks stunning. It really it does. Proves, it proves that I was involved in football. Yes. <laughs> We've not forgotten. We <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with your backdrop, Martin. <laughs> Nothing wrong with yours, but it's just it's just stunning, Pierre Luigi. Thank you. <laughs> there's a huge amount of concern, of course, for football clubs, for players, for staff at clubs, and people who work in football during lockdown. How have match officials across the world been affected by this long hiatus? Because nobody really thinks too much or concerns themselves too much with match officials in these difficult times. I think it's fair to say. Yeah, referees are part of uh, the so-called business. So they, they are as well as uh, players, uh, coaches, uh, staff, all the person you mentioned before. They were affected by, by the lockdown. Uh, they were affected uh, because uh, of all the competitions were suspended, uh, both uh, domestically and uh, internationally. Um, they continue to work. They continue to uh, to 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 keep themselves uh, ready for the restart. 